so hi everyone today we'll be talking about what is the yolo mark so you, you so if you have in the space of data science in ai you must have heard of the uh, object detection algorithm very famous algorithm called less yolo so basically yolo uh, intakes a annotated data set and is able and is to able to create an object detection algorithm for you now the biggest problem with yolo is that you need to have the data the training and validation data into a particular format now what is that format so all the images that you have uh, the labels are mentioned in the text file with the same name and in the text file we have this particular format label id space center x center y width height so label id is basically the class id to which uh, of the object present in the image center x center y represents the center of the object present in the image so in the image there will be multiple objects right so for any particular object what is the center x center y the center of the object and width and height of the object now assume that we have multiple objects in the file uh, in the particular image so in that case we would be having multiple entries in the text file label id 1 x center x, x y center width height label id 2 x center y center width so one below the other so basically per image we will be having one text file uh, and the name of both the text file and the image should be same now yolo mark uh, is a tool uh, is an annotation tool that can help us to um, label our data set in this format so what you need to do uh, is that uh, you need to follow up with lxab's yolo mark git repository you can clone it and there are certain commands present in the in the git repository itself for installation in your local system once you are done with all the installation there are multiple uh, steps that have they have mentioned there might be some errors that you might get because it uh, it was developed way back long but still one of the best annotation tool free annotation tools because uh, the output is quite in line with the yolo input now to mark your image you need to move your image folders into yolo mark slash cross 64 slash release slash data set and rename your folder as image now there will be uh, two more files obj.names and obj.data obj.names include the label names and the id that we are assigning so if you remember uh, in the training data set what we uh, what we wish to have is an image and the corresponding uh, text file for holding the label id and the center x center y width and height of the object so this label id and label name mapping is done in obj.names and obj.data holds up meta information like number of classes training and validation data location etc now once you are able to uh, install everything uh, yolo mark then you should be able to see a tool like this so all the images in that particular folder that you have uh, would be over a, a carousal sort of a thing coming in the top and then you will be having this image uh, the image that you wish to annotate now you can make a green box as you can see here uh, so once you make a green box and mention it mention its class that is coming in a side uh, sidebar then eventually this gets saved in a text file uh, and alongside the image and uh, your data gets annotated.